Hello and thank you for standing by for JD.com second quarter 2020 earnings conference call. At this time, all participants are in the listen only mode. After management's prepared remarks, there will be a question and answer session. Today's conference is being recorded. If you have any objections, you may disconnect at this time. I would like to turn the meeting over to your host for today's conference, Ray Yu Li. Thanks, operators, and welcome to our second quarter 2020 earnings call. Join me today on the call are Mr. Richard Liu, GD.com Group CEO, Mr. Lei Xu, CEO of GD Retail, Mr. Zheng Hui Wang, CEO of GD Logistics, Sandy Xu, our CFO, and Professor Liao, our CSO. For today's agenda, our CFO Sandy will discuss highlights for the second quarter 2020 and other management will join the QA session. Before we continue, I refer you to our safe harbor statements in the earnings press release which applies to this call as we will make forward-looking statements. Also, this call includes discussions of certain non-gap financial measures. Please refer to our earnings release which contains a reconciliation of the non-gap measures to the most directly comparable gap measures. Finally, please note other lights otherwise stated. All figures mentioned during this conference call are in RMB. Now I would like to turn the call over to our CFO, Sandy. Thanks to you. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today to discuss our second quarter results and how we position our business. Stepping into the second quarter, we were facing a constantly evolving micro environment with unprecedented complexity and opportunities. We are proud that JD played an important role to help our suppliers and users in this extraordinary time and contribute to the society. As the domestic consumption is still recovering from the disruption brought by the pandemic, both the release of pent-up demand and a structural shift of consumers' purchasing behavior from offline to online have added to our strong performance in the company. More importantly, we came out of the program stronger than ever before. Our long-term strategy of investing in supply chain-based technologies and logistics capabilities, our long-term focus on customer experience and care for employees, and our persistence to expand product offerings to all categories, all have borne fruit and made our business model more sustainable and resilient. As a result, we delivered solid financial and operating results in the second quarter and achieved a number of important milestones. First, we successfully completed our secondary listing on the main board of Hong Kong Stock Exchange on June 18, our 17th anniversary, with total post growth proceeds of approximately 34.6 billion Hong Kong dollars, or 4.5 billion US dollars. We trust that our secondary listing in Hong Kong marks an important step for us to provide favorable conditions supporting the execution of our long-term strategy and further enhance our shareholders' position. Second, we recorded a record high anniversary promotion with accelerated growth. Third, over 80% of our new users added in the quarter came from lower tier cities, the highest level on record. Our net revenue grew by 33.8% in the second quarter, the highest growth rate for the past 10 quarters, above our quality guidance and internal expectations. It was led by our successful June 18th anniversary promotion. Our general merchandise grew by 45% year over year, the highest growth rate for the past nine quarters led by our small categories, such as supermarkets and healthcare. Electronics and home appliances recorded an encouraging recovery with 28% year-over-year growth and continued to gain market share, 
amid the weak industry performance. This was supported by our ability to offer value for many products through the scale advantage of our supply chain and our ability to deal the pent up demand. Taking a deeper dive into the performance of different categories, we want to highlight the supply chain shift in our product category mix. Our supermarket category, including FMCG and fresh produce, became the single largest product category by revenue in the first half of 2020, surpassing mobile phones, home appliances, and computers, our <coughs> former champion categories. We expect the leading position of our supermarket category to be further enhanced and accompanied by stronger user engagement. Once again, this steady shift demonstrates our strengthened brand recognition and consumer perception as an evidence store with increasingly broader selection. Particularly, consumer demand for fresh produced products continued to be robust in the second quarter, leading to an over 140% growth in the number of sales orders year over year, and strong top line growth following q one jump. In addition, we are delighted to see that our supermarket category continues to realize their benefits, improved operating efficiency with our in-house fulfillment capacity, and collaborated effectively with third-party partners under our omni-channel strategy. Turning to our JD Health business, not only our online pharmacy sales saw stop strong top line growth in Q2, but also the online medical consultation service volume delivered over 400% growth year over year in the first half of 2020. More and more users are getting to know and accustomed to this new service on our platform. Overall, we are encouraged to see customers are converting to our platform for a broader selection of products and services, especially those they use to purchase offline. And we note the customer behavior shift has been largely sustained in the post-pandemic period. Our top line growth was backed by sustained improvement in user engagement, especially from the lower tier city users. Our annual active customers in the past 12 months reached a total of 417 million, up 30% from a year ago, the highest growth rate in the past 11 quarters. Without more than 30 million net additional customers the largest increase in our history. I'm particularly encouraged to see that we attracted over 80% of the new customers in Q2 from the lower tier cities, a step up from the previous quarter. In the meantime, our mobile DAU year over year in June. For field growth margin, came in at 8.3% for the second quarter of 2020, compared to 8.6% in the last year, excluding the impact of one-time benefits from the VAT reform, resulting in lower count of sales in Q2 2019, the fulfilled growth margin would have improved by over 20% to compare with the market. The market improvement was the result of improved operating efficiency by JD Logistics, the nation's high relief of social security contributions for corporate, partially offset by the high grade next shift. With our effective cost control measures and continuous improvement, in operating efficiency, 
R&D and a ratios. In the second quarter, improved by 36 basis points, 69 basis points, and 19 basis points, respectively, compared to the same quarter last year. As a result, our non-GAAP operating income grew 74% to 5.6 billion RMB, and non-GAAP operating margin was 2.8%, up 64 basis points from the same quarter last year. On segment basis, non-GAAP operating income of GD Retail Group increased by 41% to 5.7 billion RMB in Q2, with operating margin further improving to 3%, up 17 basis points from the same quarter last year. We also saw meaningful improvement in profitability from new businesses, especially JD Logistics, which turned profitable <coughs> on a non-gap basis in the quarter driven by higher volume, higher order volume in the peak season and our technology-driven productivity gains that we are able to continuously generate from our best-in-class fulfillment capacity. Overall, the margin improvements were recorded in both Q1 and Q2 this year. Not only gave us a glimpse of what we can deliver as we effectively execute our long-term user-centric synergy with our scale-driven business model, but also provided a solid foundation for us to continuously reinvest in new categories that could become our future winners and a productive user growth. Moving to the bottom line, our non-gap net income attributable to ordinary shareholders in Q2 grew to 5.9 billion RMB from 3.6 billion RMB in the same period last year. The increase was mainly driven by the improvement of operating income of JD Retail and JD Logistics. Given the strong growth of our net profit and financial discipline, our free cash flow for the second quarter improved to 26 billion RMB as compared to 18 billion RMB in the same quarter last year. CapEx was 3.4 billion RMB in the second quarter. The spending was mainly for the development properties by JD Property, offset by 500 million RMB proceeds generated from the sale of development properties. As of June 30, 2020, cash and short-term investments added up to 126 billion RMB in total, our liquidity position is stronger than ever. As a newly listed company on Hong Kong Stock Exchange, we need to comply with regulations and follow the common practices adopted by public companies in the Hong Kong market. Therefore, we will no longer provide guidance on net revenue growth or net income going forward. That said, we remain committed to deliver sustainable growth with steady improvement in profitability in the long term, long term and create long-term value for our shareholders. Let me close where I began by, by emphasizing the resilience of our unique business model. We are now better equipped with stronger user mind share and engagement, higher operating efficiency, and strengthened financial position. We will build on the momentum and continue to invest in our customers and employees, technology and supply chain capabilities for future growth. This concludes my prepared remarks, and we can now move to the Q&A session. Operator, we Thank you. Thank you. The question and answer session of this conference call will start in a moment. 
In order to be fair to all callers who wish to ask questions, we will take one question at a time from each caller. If you have more than one question, please request to join the question queue again after your first question has been addressed. To ask a question today, please press star 1 on your telephone and wait for your name to be announced. If you wish to cancel your request, please press the pound or hash key. Our first question comes from the line of Eddie Leung from Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. Please ask your question. Good evening. Thank you for taking my question. Um, number one, uh, could you uh, share more color on the competitive landscape uh, of the industry, uh, especially given uh, the past uh, promotional season and then uh, the upcoming uh, promotional season, how should we uh, position uh, JD again as uh, some of the competitors? And, and then uh, secondly, just a quick uh, follow-up uh, on uh, your mentioning about uh, improving technologies, uh, helping your business. Uh, just wondering if you could uh, talk a little bit more on uh, the uh, momentum of growth uh, you have seen uh, in your uh, advertising slash uh, marketing services uh, for your clients. Uh, thank you. Okay. Uh, this is Shu Lei from JD Retail. To answer your question. Mm. Uh, we看到的不仅仅是我们业绩的增长，还有就是呃我们在用户体验方面应该是做到了这是去年以来呃最好的。我们通过一些用户的访谈和调研，呃最重要的是我们品牌商和商家的关系呃得到了进一步加强和巩
And we also noticed that there's a very high overlapping of users across different um, e-commerce platforms. And there will be less and less users who only choose to use only one platform um, in, in, the, in the future. So I see this as a very normal situation. And in this process, um, we at JD, we are very confident that there's still a very large space for us to grow our users. And um, our core um, abilities and our core competitiveness in growing our users exist in our very strong supply chains and our, pre uh, our um, good quality services and our unique business model. And in terms of our advertising strategies, and uh, we will see in the longer term, we will continue to maintain a sustain sustainable growth on our advertising site to continuously provide um, better value to our brands and suppliers to provide them more ROI for our budget uh, based on our advertising technologies and advanced algorithm. And um, a closer look at the performance of our advertising revenues in Q2 is becoming more and more active and with a higher growth rate than the last quarter, and uh, we expect that this situation will continue. Uh, we will now make a very dramatic, um, dramatic um, uh, resources opening of our advertising resources on our main site. However, we will invest further on the technology and inventing new advertising products and the condition of uh, ensuring the advertising efficiencies to uh, drive the um, advertising revenues on our main site. And我们也为一些品牌商进行合作取得了不错的效果。未来我们会在线上、线下、站内和站外。and we also like to share with you that we have also carried out some offline digitalized advertising um, 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 explorations with our partners, and the result is pretty good so far. So in the future, we'll continue to build up our digitalized um, advertising ecosystem with a combination of our online, offline, inside, and outside uh, resources. Thank you for your question. This is Sandy. I want to add on one point. Um, actually, if you look at our uh, Q2 advertising revenue, uh, the growth is faster than our product revenue. Uh, so really, there was some uh, drag from the third-party uh, commission revenue because the third-party merchants, uh, their resume of work were uh, a little bit uh, slower than the 1T, um, uh, 1T business um, in, the early April, uh, in April and early May. Thank you. Our next question comes from the line of Ronald Cohn from Goldman Sachs. Please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Shilei. Thank you, Sandy. Um, and thank you, uh, Rayu. So uh, congratulations on the strong results. And it's uh, amazing to hear that FMCG and Fresh has become the single largest category. Um, could you just share more on your supermarket kind of growth uh, initiatives, your targets there? And particularly, you want to hear about the margins, because the JD Retail margin was 3.0, and I believe a lot of mature categories are mid-single digits. Just how are we seeing the, the margin profile for supermarket? And as we aim to grow the scale further, I believe we're, we're sort of no, not in a rush to, to aim for margins, but where do we see kind of ultimate margins could be, and, in, and particularly for uh, fulfillment and the logistics side, what are the initiatives to, to drive further improvement in margins for this segment? Thank you. Uh, <coughs> uh, 
咱们接着再看。呃，呃，整个大康超大康超品类里面，尤其在呃消费品和生鲜方面呢，确实我们呃今年的整个的利润的利润改善还是非常明显的。And indeed, in the category of FMCG and fresh produce, we have seen some major、uh, profit improvement. 嗯，呃，利润的改善呢，主要由多种原因嗯构成。呃，首先呢，是因为我们嗯在呃随着一些在品类和品牌上面的整个市占率的提升，我们跟品牌商一起会更紧密的加强合作。呃，这是第一点。第二呢，我们会呃随着规模规模效应，我们会在履约费用率上面。嗯，我们我们一直在重持续下这样的态势。嗯，第三个呢，是我们在推进全渠道，呃，全渠道。那么我们会会将一些呃更适合在线下呃交易的品类，通过我们呃满足用户的体验，将订单和流量转移到我们线下的合作伙伴。呃，三方面构成了我们整个的利润率的改善。And for the reasons of the improvement of the profits, I think there are mainly three reasons. And first of all, it's our increasing market share in these categories and in certain brands. This has been、uh, brought by our strength,、uh, strengthened cooperation with our partners. And secondly,、uh, I believe the, the scale effect has been taking、uh, taking effect, and uh, uh, we have been、uh, working very closely with our.、Uh, uh, we have been also improving our fulfillment. Expense、uh, rates, so the fulfillment expense is continuing to going down. And thirdly,、uh, thanks to our omni-channel development, we have been、um, moving some、uh, products that fit for our、uh, offline sales channels. We are giving them to off our to our offline partners, and all these three factors are contribute to the improvement of of the F and G category improvement. 呃，从从未来角度，呃，呃，京东超市现在已经是中国线上线下最大的超市。那么从未来角度，我们会呃继续加强几个方面。第一个是呃自身的供应链的大平台的能力建设，呃，这将会让我们在呃多端多场景的呃京东零零售的这个呃未来的这个表现上，我们会呃更具备更好的为这个不同的呃场景和多端去。嗯，满足消费者的体验和提供竞争力的价格。And in the future, we'll continue to step up our efforts to beat、um, our JD Super, the online supermarket at JD.com. So far, JD Super has、uh, become the largest retailer、uh, in this category, online and offline in China. And we will、uh, step up our efforts to beat our、uh, supply chain ability to help us to. Uh, provide better services and at a、um, compatible, a comp competitive price to our customers, and these will be、um, enable us to have a better performance in various、uh, sales scenarios and in different platforms. 嗯，呃，另外我们会跟京东物流一起在呃全国的整个的呃仓储的布局履约。呃，包括冷链等等各方面，呃，继续加强投入和合作，呃，去呃提升我们的履约效率，降低我们的履约成本。And also we will join hands with JD Logistics to continue our collaboration and investment in the nationwide、uh, warehouse network、uh, construction and、uh, in terms of,、um, of the cold chains and in all the aspects <coughs> to bring down our、uh, fulfillment、uh, cost. 嗯嗯，最后呃，我们会继续推进全渠道的工作，呃，无论是京东的自营的线下店，还是我们线下链接的，嗯、呃，这几十万家店，我们会呃将我们的供应链的能力和服务呃去赋能，呃，创造更大的价值。这也是品牌商目前越来越呃希望加强与京东合作的一个重要的原因。And we will also、uh, strengthen our work on the construction of our omni-channel solutions, no matter if our self-operated platform or our offline、uh, stores, and over hundreds of millions of our partners offline to、uh, provide our supply chain ability to create more value to all of our partners. This is also the main reason for uh, uh, more and more brand partners wish to、uh, strengthen collaboration with JD. 呃，关于那个物流运营，我再补充一点，我是京京东物流王振辉。呃、uh, ，This is Wang Zhengfei from JD Logistics. Just add on a few words about our omni-channel solution with、uh, JD Logistics. 
。呃，如前面徐总所讲，我们京东物流会在今年，呃，会把大商超作为一个非常重要的品类，我们在建立仓库的过程，会把仓库更向低线市场去下沉，让更多的商品能够接触到。呃，低线市场的客户也让客户能够体验到更好的京东物流的服务。And for this year, we will put our uh, unlike uh, the JD supermarket market business at the core of our uh, development, especially in uh, building more um, uh, warehouse networks in the lower tier cities to bring more high quality products to our customers in the lower tier cities and let them to enjoy the superior um, service experience with the JD.com. 呃，除了我们呃在城市配送方面，除了我们的呃比较一直客户比较喜欢的这种二二幺档案夹的服务以外，我们也会采取根据商超的不同品类，采取一些呃和城市呃即时配送相关的更快速的一小时到达的这种服务，让客户可以进行选择。And besides those of our popular services, including the same day and next day deliveries, uh, for this year, JD Logistics will continue to uh, collaborate with different cities to provide uh, more um, faster delivery services. For example, the delivery within one hour depends on different um, uh, product categories. Thank you. Thank you. Our next question comes from the line of Alicia Yelp from Citigroup. Please ask your question. Hi, thank you. Um, good evening, management. Thanks for taking my questions and congrats on the strong result. Um, I have a question on the seasonality. So wondering if you could describe uh, any different of the seasonality pattern that you have observed uh, over the you know the past uh, one and a half months, right into the three Q, in terms of the years uh, this year situation versus the previous year. So have you seen any um, the abnormal strength of this FMCG or even uh, appliance category uh, into the three Q despite um, the strong 618 um, already or strong, you know, first half already. Is this 3Q is a bit different seasonality pattern than the previous year? Uh, and then quickly, um, any colors in terms of the ASP and the category purchase that for those that are coming um, from the lower tier city, uh, especially those that you newly acquire uh, this quarter in terms of the basket size and order frequency? Thank you.呃，这个李老师呢，回答一下。这是去了。啊，呃，今年因为疫情的原因呢，呃，就像嗯，呃，刚才你所讲，今年呢，确实具有呃一定的不确定性。我们可以看到的呃是呃六幺八七六幺八
健康和居家这几个品类里面，能够看到比往年更强劲的增长。嗯，同时呢，嗯，整个的呃中国的这个电商的行业的渗透率呢，实际上是在提升的。嗯，也让更多的消费者，那么你包括以前嗯浅度的呃，甚至是没在网上购物的呃消费者，转向了呃网购。那么在这其中呢，因为我们具备比较鲜明的供应链的能力，呃，包括服务，包括所见所得的这种模式，呃，所以说一直在持续吸引着新用户，呃，以及老用户的粘性大幅的提升。And at the same time, we also see some categories that have been experiencing some strong growth, especially the consumer goods, fresh produce, healthcare products, and uh, um, households. Uh, of uh, supplies, etc., and um, we have seen that um, the overall in China's e-commerce e market, um, the e-commerce shopping uh, penetration rate is going up. This enables more and more customers. And among them, some of them haven't used internet or online shopping before. They've all shifted their shopping online, and uh, thanks to Jilly's strong capacities and advantages in our supply chains, our superior services. And uh, our uh, com commitment to provide um, a stra trustworthy and straightforward services and products for our customers, we have been acquiring an increasing number of new customers on our platform. As, and at the same time, we also see a more active engagement uh, from our existing customers on GD's platform. Mm. 呃，是我们是我们表现不错的品类。呃，客单价方面呢，呃，由于呃新用户，大家可以看到我们这个季度的新用户，尤其是呃低线城市的新用户的占比非常高。那么新用户在新上一个平台购物的时候呢，相对来说它的客单价呃会低一些。呃，但是我们呃通过呃会员的呃经营呃呃相比往年，我们的这个购物的频次是是有所优化的。呃，未来我们也希望通过商品会员权益，呃呃，以及会员的运营呢，去将这一部分的新客户提高它的留存率和放大它的 up 值。And by looking at the consumption the categories from the lower tier city customers, they are buying more consumer goods and fresh produce on the platform. In these platform, in these categories, their up value are relatively lower. Than the average um, at value. So um, also we have realized that the new customers coming from the lower tier city account for a very big amount, a very big percentage um, in the overall new customers we acquired in this quarter. And we believe that uh, through more uh, precise operation of these users to increase their uh, shopping frequencies on our platform. Um, by our superior quality services and products, and giving more benefits to these customers, uh, we will gradually improve their retention rate and the market size on JD. Right, thank you. Our next question comes from the line of Alex Yao from JP Morgan. Please ask a question. Mm. Uh, thank you, management, for taking my question, and congrats on a fantastic quarter. Um, so I understand that you guys will no longer give financial guidance uh, given the Hong Kong listing, but can you at least uh, qualitatively help us understand your second half, particularly third quarter financial outlook? Uh, for example, uh, should we expect the revenue to decel meaningfully into second half given the positive uh, benefits from the COVID-19 and, uh, and also a high comp into second half. Uh, and then from margin perspective, how should we think about uh, the second, uh, second half outlook, uh, given that uh, things will normalize, but the merchant activity will further recover, so advertising revenue potentially will uh, grow faster than fir first quarter, uh, I mean first half. Uh, so any color on second half, particularly third quarter, will be appreciated. Thank you. Uh, 
Um, this is Shu Wei. Let me share with you some uh, key working areas we're going to focus on in the second half of the year. Uh,首先我们会继续的推进整个供应链的开放,呃,开放的,呃,心态以及能力,大家可以看到上半年我们有很多的对外的供应链合作赋能的合作,那么,呃,京东的这个开放是势不可挡的,所以说我们下半年会
And we will also invite the border into um, our traffic platforms, both online and offline, and to perform more disciplined investments to ensure the ROI. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I can add some color on the outlook for the second half. Um, as we mentioned earlier, uh, we had stronger controls over spending in the first half year, given the uncertainty in the macroeconomics. So, um, given the COVID-19 situation is now largely stabilized in China, we kind of go back to our original business plan for the second half. So, um, I would say uh, the, the growth, the top line growth, and the bottom line margin. Uh, would be largely in line with our uh, original plan at the beginning of the year. So uh, looking at um, second half and Q3, um, I would say we see stronger seasonality this year, and uh, we believe the trend will continue in the second half. And um, don't forget, there were some uh, pending demands released in the second quarter, especially for large home appliances. So the average growth for the first half, uh, which was 28%, I would say it is more comparable when considering the outlook for the second half, subject to the healthy recover of our overall consumption. And there were actually some uh, non-recurring sales of the COVID-19 related uh, prevention and protection products in the first half, such as the face masks and the thermometers. So we truly hope these are non-recurring business. So taking all these factors into consideration, uh, you can then model an apple-to-apple -apple outlook for the second half. But having said that, um, uh, we see very strong demand and user engagement continue in the <coughs> supermarket and consumable products in July, as <coughs> Julie just mentioned, even without any sensible promotion activities. So we can clearly see the trend of shifting from offline to online is ongoing, especially for the supermarket category and consumable <coughs> products. So we entered into Q3 with good momentum for user growth, and we will continue to focus on user engagement and new user acquisition, particularly in the lower tier market. This will form a good basis for the upcoming Q4 promotion season. So looking at the uh, profitability, uh, I want to emphasize that our commi commitment to stably improving margin has not changed, but uh, we will continue to invest in new initiatives for future growth. All right, thank you. Our next question comes from the line of Thomas Chong from Jefferies. Please go ahead. Hi, uh, thanks management for taking my questions and congratulations on a very strong result. Um, I have a question relating to uh, lower tier cities uh, penetration. Uh, can management comment about our strategy uh, in the second half? And on that front, uh, understand that uh, we have very strong uh, user growth from our main apps. Uh, but can you also comment about uh, Jinxi, um in our strategy in the second half? And then uh, a quick uh, question is about our M&A uh, strategies. Um, how should we think about our uh, acquisition uh, strategies in the second half, uh, given that I think recently we have done some uh, M&A? Thank you.呃第二市场的话呢,上半年整体的呃战略还是取得了不错的进展,所以说我们整体还会保下半年继续去延续。呃你能看出来我们上半年整个新用户的贡献还是比较明显的,尤其是呃经济和集促版的整个拉新的效
uh, the larger market has uh, been contributing a lot in our new customers' acquisitions. This has been achieved just in several uh, different uh, uh, different uh, approaches. For example, our Tinsi, the social e-commerce platform, and also the light version or the city version of uh, our app has been um, driving the um, new customers from the lower two cities to uh, JD. And at the same time, as I just mentioned in the last question, we have a certain kind of categories that have been um, favored more by the lower two city new users, such as uh, the consumer goods, fresh produce, um, etc. These are also helpful for gaining uh, new customers in the lower two cities. And in addition, the decentralized um, traffic platform <coughs> have also played an important role to uh, help us in, uh, acquire more uh, customers from the lower tier cities. So these are, um, in general, uh, in total, the uh, strategies we have been carrying out to uh, going deeper into China's lower tier cities. Uh, 拉新，呃，经营表现的也非常不错。但是我还想分享一下关于惊喜的情况。And just a few more words about Kinsey. Kinsey is one of the channel we acquire new customers. Um, actually, our main site is also performing well in acquiring new customers. So here, I just want to uh, share more about Kinsey. 经过QE的疫情呢 and in Q1, because of the coronavirus situation, a lot of merchants cannot uh, um, operate normally, so the Jinxi platform performance has been flat. But uh, coming to Q2, um, Jinxi has been uh, showing its strength in terms of the uh, growth on the users, on the scale. It's been taking off and uh, um, being a main con uh, contributor to uh, our overall GMV. Mm. Yeah, and um, at the time the users are growing on Jinxi, we have also seen um, their repurchase rate is growing, which is a very important indicator for the performance of Jinxi. Um, we will uh, continue to perform uh, more precise uh, users operations on Jinxi users, and some of them are uh, making a transition over a period of uh, shopping um, with uh, JD. They are transitioning to our main sites already. Uh, 尽管尽管惊喜的整体的商家数量是低于京东主站的让更多的机械的消费者找到它适合的商品。嗯，然后，呃，我们的，呃，我们的，呃，我们的，呃，我们的，呃，我们的，呃，我们的，呃，我们的，呃，我们的，呃，我们的，呃，我们的，呃，我
expand and extend JV's growth engine by investing into companies that are strategically complementary to JV in terms of scale, scope, capability, and uh, transformative uh, business model. Uh, its purpose is to uh, create long-term stra uh, strategic value to both parties, uh, financially and uh, strategically. Uh, uh, in align with uh, JV's in strategic direction, we remain strong interest in our continued investment in local cities, uh, supply chain, uh, technology and service, as well as uh, retail infrastructure. So you may see um, there are quite a number of investments or acquisitions announced recently, um, I guess simply because a lot of these investment activities were delayed because of the pandemic in Q1. So our strategy have not changed in terms of merger and acquisition. <coughs> All right, thank you. Our next question comes from the line of Jerry Lear from UBS. Please ask your question. Hey, thank you. Um, I, uh, I've heard uh, uh, quite a bit of uh, discussion about uh, partnerships and uh, decentralized uh, 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 e-commerce just now. I, I wanted to ask us specifically about uh, the, the kind of partnership JD has with Quiso, so or, or maybe you know, in the future more uh, in the e live streaming area. Uh, I just I just wonder uh, what does management think of the uh, partnership so far and uh, what can we do more of in, in live streaming? Uh, has this driven good uh, user uh, engagement or GMV or, or anything like that? Just, just a, a few data points on the Quiso partnership. And then secondarily, uh, on logistics, could we see the uh, pro profitability, the, the margin improvement sustain, or, or could we see uh, reinvestments in the next few quarters? Thank you. This is Julie for the question about cooperation with Kuaishou. 其实，呃，京东跟快手的合作是我们典型的供应链开放的一个典型案例。呃，我们有很多，呃，很多的案例。那么，呃，只是因为快手确实是一个，呃，现在非常，呃，受到高关注度的企业，所以这个合作自然也
um, they uh, prefer to work with JD through, uh, to work with Quasho through the JD's platform because we can provide our overall abilities, our services, and the after sales services and fulfillment abilities and all these things <coughs> used to the difficulties for these brand partners to work on this new live streaming platform. Uh,因为跟这个其实也很快就到了六幺八,所以说我们时间比较短的情况下,跟六幺八总体的促销中,我们更多的是聚焦在了三星跟日用百货这两个品类上面,呃,也是当然也是快手,呃,比较希望,
and is it too early to think about that? And secondly, related to that, uh, any new learnings here in terms of user behavior, any new product or services you plan to roll out to take advantage of the market? And also, lastly, maybe a little bit reminder about your differentiation versus other online peers here. Thank you so much. Uh, and this is Julie. I would like to introduce a bit about our JD Health business. And as, as far as we know, JD Health is uh, the largest uh, pharmaceutical retailer in the um, healthcare industry in China. And more than that, JD Health is a, first, uh, is a front runner or a first mover in the internet plus healthcare area. 整个经济健康的定位应该是还是以供应链为核心的通过技术的手段来推动整个用户的全生命周期全状态的全场景的一个健康的管理平台未来我们会在医药供应链方面的能力去加强并且去提升完善我们的这个医疗服务的能力这是
Thank you. We are now approaching the end of the conference call. I will now turn the call over to J.D. Combs, where you leave for closing remarks. Thanks, operators. Thank you for joining us today. Please feel free to contact us if you have any further questions. We are looking forward to talking with you for a long time. Thank you for your participation in today's conference. This concludes the presentation. You may now disconnect. Good day.